everybody. <laughs> I appreciate that, but we're not quite ready to begin yet, I don't think. We've got... Do we have any more coming in? Doors? Are we still falling in? Not really, huh? Ooh, all right. Well, let's just wait until everybody gets a little bit settled in here. I just wanted to come out here and let you guys all know that we are still definitely alive and making things happen. It's just that sometimes we run on furry time, which is always 15 minutes to half an hour past what it should be. But what can you do? So, uh, question while we're waiting. Who's had a good time this weekend, huh? That's what I like to hear, because I gotta tell you, I have had a marvelous weekend with you people. It has been an extraordinary experience, absolute blast. Oh my god, the events, the atmosphere, all of the mishaps that <laughs> we are desperately trying to play down. <laughs> what mishaps? Exactly. But I am so glad to see so many smiling faces and to have met so many of you personally and heard what an incredible experience you have all had. Because everybody who puts on this con wants only one thing, to make you happy to make your Halloween. Because let's face it, most of us at this con, we're around the age where on Halloween, we just don't get to celebrate like we used to. So we get it on the weekend, right around Halloween. We get it when we can, how we can. But we do it big, we do it loud, and we do it proud, and I'd say we've done it this weekend. Is that right? As a horror and dark media channel on YouTube, Halloween is sacred. But I gotta tell you, this year, Furpok has felt like the true date of Halloween. I know 31st is coming up. But to me, we already went there, baby. <laughs> so thank you all so much for making this a truly marvelous Halloween for me, for everybody here, for all of your peers, and especially for yourselves, because you owe it to yourself. Halloween, keep it sacred, keep it yours. And with that, I do believe we've had enough stall time to get everything ready. <laughs> Now's the part where we bring everybody up on stage and give you the full report. The health report, the report card, the rundown of how everything went. Just how awesome was this con? What are the numbers? What do people have to say? How many of these folks, how many of these grown-ass men are gonna cry up here? <laughs> the answer is all of them when I come along and just shh with my claws on the back of their necks. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mr. Silverwolf? My friend? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your con head, Silver Wolf, the man who makes it all happen. Oh, hardly. That mic's not live. Let's switch. Thank you, Nick. Big round of applause for Nick. Come on. He's our, our first time having a master of ceremonies, and I couldn't have asked for a better, better guy to be here doing it. Uh, you know, but first, I want to thank all of you guys. You guys are the reason we're here. You're the reason we do this. To help our community, to give you guys a fun, safe place to just enjoy yourselves, to be ourselves, to let our furry flag fly. So I want to get a big awoo out of everybody in here. I want to hear how much you enjoyed Furpak this year. Come on, awoo! Come on, we can do better than that, can't we? 
One more time. Ow! So with that, <laughs> I have to say this year has been one of my best for Apocalypse ever. It is a lot of work putting this thing on. I have a lot of great people that help, that do it. There's no one person that ever makes a con happen. It is a spectacular group of people, talented people, and I can't wait to start introducing them and let you guys meet each person. We have some awesome numbers from this year, which you guys are gonna get to hear about. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, get Nick up here to uh, introduce our next. Thank you, Mr. Silver Wolf. Up next, I would like to introduce somebody who has really done his absolute best to make sure everybody has a good time, no matter what. Tireless effort. I have had the most contact with this person out of anybody on staff, you might say, and I have witnessed his determination, his dedication, and the pure ability to execute all of that responsibility through his staff. Nico, head of security, please take the stage. Mr. DeWolf. Without this man, this event would not go on. Ladies, gentlemen, and germs, everything in between, it's so nice to be able to talk to you for a bit. This year, there's two times you might have seen me, either good reasons or bad reasons. Hopefully I saw most of you over good reasons, and I'm glad to report the ones I had to see over bad reasons were minor to non-existent whatsoever. The few incidents we had were handled professionally, quickly and easily. I have to commend my staff and my volunteers working around the clock. We are the only department that does not close, I think besides video gaming and tabletop, that works around the clock 24 seven, making sure this con keeps running. I'm so proud of my guys, but also you guys, you are the ones that I'm here for. You are the ones that I live to serve. You guys make this so much fun for me. So let's do it again next year. Let's have a safe, fun year. And I'm so glad to be here, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for giving it up for Nico. Next up, I would like to bring, after we direct Nico, <laughs> come on, Nico. No, you don't want to sit next to Silp. All right. No, 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 you're supposed to protect me, not fight me. <laughs> Excellent humor, too. <laughs> next up, I would like to introduce another important gear in this well-oiled machine. Front, the head of Con Ops and Volunteer. Because getting furries to do free labor takes one hell of a man. Hi, everybody. We did a great year this year with the volunteers. We had plenty of volunteers. We had more than double than we had last year. And it's a great amount. Because this, this con does not run on just us, it runs on you guys as well. It runs on a lot of caffeine. Uh, a lot of caffeine. <laughs> um. <laughs> there, there are a few people I wa want to thank for, from the volunteers who donated quite a lot of hours so far. Um, Chris Bloodfang, Ember Rosebrew, Night Fox, Nat, uh, Nature Walker, uh, sorry if I mispronounced some of these, and I'm sorry if my mic is away from me. Um, Gentle nudge. Huh? Dianin, uh, Commander Corgi, and Kitsu. Let's get a round of applause for them. And if we could, and if we could, let's get all the volunteers to stand up real quick. And let's give them a round of applause. As I said, this runs on everybody here.
Thank you, Front. Thank you, Front. Next up, we have an old friend you might well remember from the opening ceremony, Captain Fat Bear, AKA Bear. <laughs> Whoa, the smattering of groans from the people who, I apologize for my twin brother and what he did during match game, that was unacceptable. Um, all right, so, you know, if you go online and you read stuff and you, and you know, drama happens online, and I think that the heart of furry, of the community happens right here, face to face and, and at cons all across the world. Um, and there's too much, <laughs> there's too much uh, people talking about the bad stuff online and sometimes you can get disheartened and you don't realize what an amazing community we have. And so I wanna just mention a couple positive things, very wonderful things that happen at this for Apocalypse. All right, first, I have the best mom like in the world. She's like 87 years old. And when I uh, came out to her, you know, she didn't throw me out of the house. She didn't disown me. She told my husband, call me mom, and, like, welcome to part of the family. She's awesome. I wish everyone had a mom as wonderful as I do. And, she, and so what she did is she, I told her, I was like, oh, I'm helping my friends out with the con, and we're doing charity. And, and uh, I was like, if you want to make anything for the charity auction, she's like, I can make hats. She made rainbow pride ski caps, knitted by hand. And um, I'd forgotten, they were up in my hotel room, and so I brought them down this morning. They were all gone, people went through $10, $20, and they were gone in like five minutes. And so it was, I can't wait to, I'm seeing her tomorrow, so I'll tell her that her, her work was very much appreciated. So. That, that's a really cool story, but here, something else happened. The first person who bought one gave me 10 bucks, had a new hat, and I, and I passed him in the hallway like 20 minutes later, and I said, hey, I like your hat. And they're like, oh, thanks. And he's like, I, I, had my, I had money stolen. The, all my money was stolen, and it was my gas money to get back home. And I'm like, oh. And so I was like, oh, hold on. And I ran up to the dealer cashier line, and I was like, hey, somebody had their money stolen. They need gas money to get home. Can anyone chip in? And everyone there was like $5, $10, $20. And we were able to raise like an immediate $50 for him, give it to him, and he breaks down in tears. And again, this, this community is amazing. You know, when it, you know, <laughs> yeah, give yourselves a round of applause. You know, I, th I think when it counts, we take care of our own. You know, we take care of, of everyone, actually. We've got, we've got huge hearts, and we want to do good. And uh, which brings me to this, my, my last little story here before I pass it on, is um, we did a charity auction here, a charity raffle, and we were giving away, or not giving away, <laughs> auctioning off this United States War Dogs um, throw blanket. And uh, just to give a quick, you, you read about our charity, and you see war dogs, and there's a little write-up, but not a lot of people understand how important that this cause is for us, uh, as well as true colors. Um, but these dogs, we all know what dogs, how loyal and loving and selfless they are. They just live to be, you know, make us happy to offer companionship. And when they served, um, when they serve as working dogs, they've saved countless lives of soldiers, lives of civilians. Um, and even in natural disasters, they rescue and find people in the rubble. And years ago, they weren't treated like the heroes and, and loving souls that they are. Um, uh, the government years ago was in treating them as equipment. And when their time was done uh, serving, they were put down. And uh, it was the, one of the greatest, <laughs> it's a tragedy. And that's how I heard about these dogs, and that's why I wanted... Um, you know, we wanted to help this organization because what they do is they're changing laws. They're making sure that they're not just seen as pieces of equipment that can be disposed of, that these are heroes, these are companions, these are uh, brothers and sisters in arms. And uh, uh, a lot of the dog handlers, uh, when they, they bond with, the, with their handlers, the, and uh, 
Some of them now can adopt them and they can retire together and live out the rest of their lives and they can get medical treatment. They're retrained as support dogs. Um, they're treated with the dignity and honor that they deserve. So just want to give you an idea of how important that is. And I also just want to mention our, our new charity this year is True Colors and um, helping uh, LGBTQ youth uh, with all the stuff that's going on and people trying to take away the, a lot of the rights and everything that we've worked so hard to earn, uh, they're going to bat for, for, um, for, for our young members of our community to make sure they're taken care of, that the, the people are going to treat them as equals and as valued mem members of our communities. So, yeah, give them a hand. So I just wanted you to know how important our charity work is. So back to the original part. We're auctioning this off. It started at $150. I asked, anybody want to do $160? $200. All right, that's good. You know, anybody? Uh, it went to $500. Somebody bid $1,000. Somebody bid $1,500. There was a little bidding war in the front row. Um, it ended up being uh, sold for $2,060. And it was purchased by Draken for his, uh, his mate, Caesar. And Caesar is a veteran and was a, uh, a dog handler. Uh, and, and so I want to call you guys up here. If you can come up and I want everyone to give them a hand for their generosity. Incredible generosity. Oh, oh, almost forgot. It's Caesar's birthday today. Hey. We, are, we already did this at the, at, the, at the auction, but happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Caesar. Happy birthday to you. And if you thought the generosity was over, I just, the last part of this story is... When the bid was at fifteen hundred dollars, and, uh, and and Draken went to two thousand, one of the bidders had to bow out. Well, after the auction was over, he walked up to me and said, "I want to match my last bid." So I want to, Dave, come on up. He didn't get anything out of the deal. He didn't get anything. He just gave us fifteen hundred dollars for our charities. So anyway, I just want to say, I love this community. I love you guys. Thank you. Don't let anyone tell you that furries don't have a big heart and that we're not in this to help um, make our community and the world a better place. So thank you all. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. Bear, thank you as well. That was absolutely splendid. <laughs> Right along this way, gentlemen. It's hard to see this. It really is, especially with the tables now. <laughs> that was absolutely wonderful. Again, Bear, thank you. I know I and many, many other people here can relate to the feelings that you have with your mother. Truly, out of all the fandoms that there are, there aren't very many much that are safer for the LGBTQ plus community than furry. And somebody who would know quite a bit about that would be our charity director, Mai Bu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, you're dead? Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? <laughs> great, great to hear. 
So I want to thank every single one of you that donated this weekend. So uh, we had a, uh, quite a lot that went on, a lot of Bucket Brigaders. Thank you to all the first shooters that participated. And uh, again, thank you to the ones that purchased this lovely tapestry. Also, um, I have a few things that I just wanted to say. I have, uh, let's see, I have a special item that I want to try to do an auction. I'll be doing that in just a second. Uh, we have a estimated number for our uh, charity amount this year. So we have, for a grand total right now, is seven thousand eight hundred and seven dollars and forty-five cents. Now here's the thing: we're trying to reach that twelve thousand, right? And we want to do this. Um, Bear, what was that? The uh, the, yeah. the hot wing challenge. We, we were aiming for twelve. Well, we were like a, a couple thousand away. Let's we'll let's get to ten. Come on, we can do this. We could get to 10 before closing, cer uh, closing ceremonies is over, and we'll burn our brains out for you. So, like, get some bucket brigaders out here, bring some money up, throw it on the table. Let's, come on, we can do this. Two, two grand? He, he spent over two grand just on this. One person did. So if we all chip in 10, 15, 20 bucks, come on, let's just do this. It's such a worthy cause. Let's get to 10 grand, and we'll eat spicy hot wings and swear. <laughs> so... So what I'm going to try to do to try to help that, I'm going to do a little quick auction. We have our final first shooter badge, correct? It is number 300. On the back of it is signed all of our board of directors. So what I want to do is I am going to start the bid at $10. Do we have 10? $10. Please shout out your, your responses. 20. 50. 100. Anyone else? 150, we're at 150. Two. Come on, 200. You guys can do it, come on. Two, I heard a two. 205. Anyone else? 210, I heard a 210. All right, 300, we're at 300. All right, so. Is there any final, final numbers? 320, 350, come on. 310, 320, 350, 400 even? 300. Going once, going twice, sold. So 300 for the win. 300 for the win. So the, so the person that uh, is going to be taking home this wonderful badge, um, please see Front or myself after the closing ceremonies, and we will get this sorted. So without further ado, I have one more thing to try to help get us to get that number going, right? And what I'm going to do is I, myself, and three other cute little fluffies are going to go around all of you with buckets, and we are going to see if we can get to that $10,000 with the Bucket Brigade. So let the Bucket Brigade begin. Three puppies and a kitty, actually.
Anything, room keys, put it in there. <laughs> Car keys. Thank you so much for, for digging deep for our charities. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. We're going to tally that and see if we... Uh... Let's give a hand to our Bucket Brigade. <laughs> Nobody can resist a, a cute fursuiter. God knows I can't. I got some money in my room if you want to come up and get it later. Is this on? Did I say that? I'm sorry. That was amazing. Thank you, everybody. Absolutely amazing response. Huge generosity. We are counting up the numbers right here, right now. So we will have those for you shortly. But we have some numbers we already have calculated, and they're numbers you're definitely going to want to hear. You know who has them? Our attendee and registration director, Dragoon. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, these wonderful people count all of our money. So, last year we had around, what, 1,200 I think it was. Sound about right? This year we almost doubled it for two, around 1,391 is our final total of all of you here, which is great. I know we had some problems at Reg, one badge printer down, but everybody's patient, and I thank everybody for here for being patient with us. Cool, thanks. Yeah, the Reg crew, they're tireless. They, uh, they got to process, what, what was, like you just said, almost 1,400. So that's a lot of people to process, and they do it quick and easy. And I'm not going to make the obvious jokes, but thank you, guys. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> You're angrily counting money up here. Angrily. They're going as fast as they can. But did you hear that? You were nearly 1,400 attendees. That is astonishing. You beat last year by about 200. Amazing. Now we do have another number for you. 
we get to see just how many fluffy creatures we racked up in our parade. And the person who's got that number would be Mr. Black Wolf Tor, the first suiting operations director. There he is! <laughs> Hello, everybody. This was a good year, I have to say. I've been seeing a lot of cute and fluffy fursuers running around. Has everybody enjoyed the games that went on this, uh, this morning? <laughs> Even though it seems like I got a beating with most of a few of the suitors at the games, but it's okay, I enjoyed it. I had fun. Oh, no, it's okay. I, 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 I still love you. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the winners for the games, is going to be their fifth year winning the uh, Green Weenies. But. Cheaters. <laughs> next year, hopefully, maybe the red or the purple can maybe take them out. But anyways, let's get to the, let's get to the number of what the parade for yesterday. It was a nice turnout. You may see me run around a little bit crazy, but I have the full number for it. I don't know if it's showing up yet. We have 417 fursuiters at the parade. That was a very nice turnout. Thank you all for who showed up. Four hundred fursuiters. Four hundred seventeen, to be precise, right? Yeah, that, that, that was a lot of fluff. It was a lot of fluff. I saw it. That room was packed. You couldn't move through there at all. Yeah, you all have fleas. Not for me, though. I'm clean. <laughs> so is Jib. I'll vouch for him, too. Anyway, <laughs> now you might have noticed that the ballroom we've got here is pretty damn beautiful. Look at these screens. Have you ever seen these at a convention? Three projection screens. One, two, three. This one especially, wow. Boom, right over, the, right over us, all the way across, with absolutely stunning graphics by our graphic designer, Thrayton, who I'm gonna give a little shout out to. You know you deserve another. <laughs> but all of this beauty, and all of my ability to actually speak on a microphone to you all was coordinated by my favorite kangaroo, the main events coordinator and director, Time Suppression. All right, uh, so how many of you came to any of the stuff that we didn't hear this weekend? All right, awesome. What do you think of the setup? You like it? Yeah. Awesome. I, uh, I've only slept a few hours this weekend to make all this happen, and my crew has also done the same. So big shout out to all of them. They've done a killer job. And uh, yeah, no, no, that's all I have for now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ty. And now, outside of main events, we did have quite a few panels. Some of you may have turned out for that. I hear the Animation 101 panel was pretty hot. The person responsible for all the fun outside the ballroom and the dealer's den would be Sasuke, your scheduling director. Sasuke, please take your rightful place up here. Oop. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, everybody. Thank you, first of all, to all the people who did panels at this convention. I would not have any place up here without all of you. So thank you. Second of all, thank you to everyone who went out to those panels. We would not be able to host them if you did not attend them. So thank you for all of you as well. That's it.
And finally, there's really no way you can go to a furry convention, go into the dealer's den, and not walk away with something. There's just so much stuff always jumping out at you. And a lot of, <laughs> even when you think you don't gonna, you're not gonna come away with something, well, then you find the NSFW art and <laughs> out comes your wallet and your dignity. The director responsible for the dealer's den, Caliper Kali. Hey guys, I'm not actually the director, I'm the assistant. I don't know if you guys watch The Office. I'm not the uh, assistant to the regional manager. Or I'm not the assistant regional manager. I'm assistant to the regional manager. Um, Rigby isn't here. I'm not sure where he went. But he really did all the work. So if he's in here, please give him a round of applause. Because he worked so hard. And of course, we need to thank all of our dealers that came here with this amazing stuff. Oh my goodness. This is the best here ever. Best stuff ever. Please! And lastly, thank you guys for buying all the stuff, because if you didn't, then what's the point? So thank yourselves. Woo! And that's kind of really it. We didn't really have that many issues this year. A couple of hiccups with uh, checkout, but we sorted all that out, so we're golden. So that's it. Thank you. Yay, Caliper! Woo! We love you, Caliper! Also, I'm a collie. This is my other head. Sorry, I, I didn't bring it up here. Confusing. <laughs> we got a random donation of money. There you go. There you go. <laughs> See how that worked, though? All I had to say was NSFW stuff, and somebody came running up here with money. <laughs> That's how it works around here. I appreciate whoever that was that did that. Thank you very much. It's just going to make our numbers higher. Yep. Oh, Good thank you, Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> and happy birthday, by the way. And now. So generous. <laughs> and if the mention of uh, NSW stuff, I'm just going to say the word porn. <laughs> if, that gener if, the, if that generates more money for charity, that's, all I'm, that's the only reason I'm saying it. I was trying to keep it a little bit classy, but yeah, we love smart. Anyway, I, however, am not. it doesn't need to be classy. Come on. Okay. We do have two more chairs up here besides my own when I finally get done bringing all these people out here. Who are we missing? Both of those names, our guests of honor, first of which, Jim Cody! Come on, boy! You want to say something? Do you want to speak? I don't want to go back to work! <laughs> But it's so nice to see all you guys and your big smiles. Yeah, I'm so grateful. And for all the staffs who made this possible. And oh man, I'm gonna go back. I'll be sitting and animating and I'm gonna be thinking about this. I'm gonna be crying while I'm animating. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jib. <laughs> And by the way, if you guys haven't seen the animations that he's pulled off while he's been here, somehow, look up his Twitter, because they are magic. And now, if any of you have seen this beautiful Furpok logo right here, and thought, man, that's really nice, who made that? That would be our artist, guest of honor, Kokadope. What's up, motherfuckers? I did it! I did it and I love it, okay? 
That's what we're about right here. But anyways, I wanted to say fucking thanks. Holy shit, you've been here. And every you know, second you've been here. We just got kicked off YouTube now, thanks. No, no, monetization or not. We got you guys, so it's covered. Got it? Anyways, I wouldn't be here without a bunch of people, including a bunch of these people. First off, Furpok was like my first con last year. Disgusting. I wasn't into cons, I was a normie as you call it, and that was kind of a weird situation. So when I got in, in invested in this, holy shit. <laughs> you guys are excellent. And, and please, give me a pick, like, you know, a woo right now because I want to know how excellent all of you are. I love all of that. And, and something that when I first joined the furry community, which was like two years ago, I just, I couldn't deal with how emotionally wonderful each and every one of you are. And that's why I'm sticking around. And that's why I want to be these wonderful events. You know, I just want everything to work out. <laughs> so I've worked my butt off. All of these people have worked their butts off. Um, there's an owl out there. Fred, where are you at? Fred. Proof. Proof that a normie can be a furry and into the awo. So good boy out there and good boy to every one of you. Thank you for coming to Furpok. I love you! <laughs> Who am I handing this to? Also, best friend, Nick Nocturne. He did a lot of things for me. Good boy. Cheers, right there, Coca. Hey. Now, you might be thinking this final chair is for me. It's not. But we have brought out already everybody who's been involved for this year. So this chair is for our very first guest of honor for next year. We already got one, that's right. <laughs> there are certain names in the furry fandom that are legendary. There are art styles that are legendary. You see them and you know who it is. You might not know their name, but you know who they are. Absolutely prolific inimitable, indisputably awesome. This guest of honor for next year, who has graciously accepted the invitation, also provided for us this year for some of the con badges that you are wearing. Next year, we kick things off with the 2019 Furpak guest of honor, Ken Katz. Imagine how cool that card book is going to look. And with that, I must pass the mic off to these gentlemen to finish up closing ceremonies. But I got to say, anything that I would have to say at this point, they've already covered me on. This has been an amazing experience. This was my first public outing as Nick Nocturne, and I wouldn't have had it any other way. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody. I didn't want to do this, but our goal was originally 12,000. If we could break 10,000, then that's what we're aiming for. I gotta tell you right now, here, you hold this. Right now our total is at $9,824. We're 180 short. We have another war dog statue. How much is that? 40, 60, 80. Hold on. Yeah. I haven't even taken my clothes off yet. <laughs> or how about paying, paying me to keep them on? Come on. 
There you go, Bear. Here's a hundred for me. That's a hundred from Black. I think. Well, let's, what do we got? Hundred, hundred twenty, uh, forty, sixty, eighty. We did it. We're over ten thousand. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Thank you all. You are the best. This is the best community ever, and you're all the best, best attendees. Thank you. And uh, what am I thanking you guys for? Now we got to do the hot wing challenge. <laughs> You still want to put it up? Let's go. No. Yeah, above and beyond. Does anybody want to bid on this to buy a board? We'll start at we'll start at, at twenty. Twenty. Thirty. Fifty. One hundred. One hundred fifty. One fifty. You can't bid down. <laughs> We're at one fifty. Anybody one sixty? Two hundred. 210? Anymore. Anybody? 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 210. 220. 220. 221, whatever it takes. Come on. 220 going once? Or whatever it was. Was it 10 or 20? Oh, come on. You know you want to bid more on this beautiful thing. 230. Yeah, 230. there we go. He's bidding against himself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> 230. 230. Anybody? 235? What? What was that? I think she, I think she stubbed her toe. Okay, that's okay. That's a valid bid. All right. 230 going once. 230 going twice. Sold for 230. Thank you. Generous, generous. Fuzz. All right, now, oh God, I hate to have the, the good feeling of raising money for charity just destroyed by us eating things that are gonna hurt us, but let's bring the hot wing challenge up, I guess. If anybody out there wants to injure themselves in the name of, anybody want? Anybody want to take part? It's okay. But oh, let's, let's get the uh, tapestry off of here because people are going to be spewing like sprinklers. <laughs> Should I go give this to the guys that bid on it? Or? It's okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to say we only, we only have a limited number of things. I'm, I apologize. So if there's any left over, if you guys don't mind sharing a wing. Love I don't know what you have. Thing. All right, put it out here. And it makes a fiery ring. So it was my idea, so I don't have to actually do it. Because I, I already supplied the idea. You have. Y'all have to suffer. I fell into a ring of fire. Sparky's a good boy, everyone. Just remember that. He's a good boy. Down, down, and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. I love the legal place that we have. <laughs> Doing it with Duplo? Now, I can tell you right now. I can smell this. And it burns. I fell into a burning ring. If you don't really know, silver is a very sensitive constitution. And the flames a very sensitive constitution. It burns, burns, burns. You thought, if, if you thought I cried when I heard the donations that were made over here, wait for this. This is gonna suck what for all of our members up here. Good luck. This one survive. looks like tar at the end. Is is this? I fell for you like a child. I'll go first. I'll kill myself. It's good. This last one looks like something oh, got angry and then died. The fire went wild. <laughs> I fell into a burning oh, I also want to give a shout out. My beautiful down, tiger down, husband down, is the one who's the who put the hurt together. Cringer. Woo! I asked him, I was like, is there anything you can... Yeah, yeah. Okay, here... 
flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire All right, and to add a different dimension to this, <laughs> this is the worst idea ever. I mean, the second, the, the second worst idea ever. We wanted to do. Somebody from the audience can ask a question about the convention before we eat the wing, and then we get to eat it. And the answer we give you is not at all going to be professional or nice. <laughs> Just know that going in. Our final total, or uh, our total that we have right now, $10,373. All thanks to you. You have really done our charities and community proud. You guys are amazing. I love you. All right, we ready? So, somebody ask a question. You'll get the answer after we eat. Eat, eat boys. Eat. What's the theme next year? All right. <laughs> Forget you said anything. All right, ready? Actually, the, th the theme. Live to death. Burn, baby, burn. Please go, burn. Bullshit while you're eating. Ready? Gentlemen, start your eating engines. Go. Go. That was good. You guys, are you gonna finish yours? <laughs> Boy, the smell coming from up here is making me hungry now. That was the warm up. Sure, I'll take the next one from you. <laughs> oh, it's starting to kick in now a little bit, though. Our theme <laughs> next year. We don't have one yet, but we're working on it. We got, we've got it narrowed down. But we're going to announce it on the... The theme will be announced on Twitter later, as well as the second guest of honor. Woohoo! Thank you, Nick. Someone tell Jib to stop beating me up. I just want to eat my wings and bees. No! Stop! Ah, why? This is why I don't come on stage ever. So my vote for next year's theme is abdominal <laughs> abdominal distress. No, that's gonna be all of you later. <laughs> okay, the next question is gonna be for Kokodo after we eat the next wing. Round two, gentlemen, start your eating engines. Uh, round two. Go! What's scary is I don't feel anything yet. Yet. Bear, Bear, you haven't felt anything for years. You haven't felt anything for years. <laughs> That doesn't feel as hot as the first one. Did I get them out of order? That was delicious. Huh? All I had to do was ask my husband, is there any way that you would want to be part of something that would hurt me deeply? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was my ex. All right. <laughs> wow. Hate you. <laughs> Jib, go beat him up.
Actually, it's starting to kick in a bit here. That was that's a slow burn. Ow. Do you really have almond milk in front of you? Ow. I and brought yogurt? You, I brought yogurt for cause because I'm not that stupid. That's cheating. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Speaking of my ex. Anyway, um <laughs> All right, is he officially done as guest of honor? Can I punch him or something? Because <laughs> now it's really burning. Oh, and it'll burn later, too. Oh, damn, this is a slow one. It keeps building. Quick, somebody take the almond milk, too. Uh, why did I hear All right, all right, question? come on. Let, let's, let's go. Let's, let's get another question Question. Going. Come on. One, five at a time, please. What's something oh. we're doing next year that we're not doing this year? The hot wing challenge. <laughs> it's what? Oh yeah, well we're we're that's. He wants to have a fursuit fight to the death. That's what proposed for next year. We're, we're going to have to talk to our lawyers and uh, see if that's plausible. The furry hunger games. We, we do want to do the, uh, the battle challenge. Uh, that was actually something we had thought about trying to do for this year. And, uh, you know, as long as our insurance company says it's okay, we do plan on doing it for next year. And, and the, the, the Battle Royale Challenger is going to be Regbot. You are going to have to battle Regbot at the end. Furry Hunger Games would just invite Vore enthusiasts anyway, guys. Come on now. I think for next year... Oh, and by the way, I just want to let you know that... Um, uh, that your online registrations are still processing. <laughs> Those will be ready soon. Uh, we're gonna have a new reg system next year and that won't frustrate everybody. That's new for next year. <laughs> we're gonna start events on time. That's new for next year. And we're gonna make this, this is great con, I love it, but we're gonna make it even better. We have already taken notes and I'm gonna punch him to sleep until he makes improvements. All right, let's see round three. Yeah. I'm afraid. Shut up, you're not even doing it. Can I get a good question from you guys while I'm eating this hot wing like a man? JK, a woman or a man or anything you want to be. When are we getting what? When are they getting more 2018 con shirts in different sizes, or...? <laughs> we need... So we're saying we need bigger sizes? Yeah, we should have bigger... Take it from me, we need larger sizes. <laughs> That's what it, that's what a wife's for. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. So we do apologize. We did run out of our shirts this year. After the con, we are going to do a, another order of our con shirts. So if you were a sponsor or something, you were supposed to get one. Uh, we are going to make some tweets with some information uh, and some posts on our, our new website, which we're getting after the con also. <clears throat> yeah, no more processing for days. Can I ask a very sincere question? Oh, no, question? I, can, I can make that happen if you want. No, we, no, we, no. We're, uh, the con store is going to be something that we're going to offer online too. So if you want a chance to buy a shirt, if you didn't get a chance to buy one, 
on the new website, we are going to also be offering that stuff for sale. Okay. Okay. So I got a real question, though. I made the shirt this year. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Really? I'm so glad, because I felt like it was a baby boy making a baby design, but I'm glad that you guys loved it, okay? I've never had so many people ask if they can buy an extra shirt before. Well, he had a microphone. That's good, guys. Say something. I love this shirt design, Coca. I love you too, Nick. Go back to silver mode. Can we do this last wing? No, I'm terrified. I'm hungry. Last... Can, can I talk? Like, the, re the other ones have been okay. My, my, my... No! My... no please, God, no. Just eat it! Just eat well, it, eat it. It looks like you lost your uh, last source, uh, Bellic. And uh, on this last wing, normally, according to the show, you're only supposed to do a dab. I did a triple coating. All right. Awesome. Now, this is, this is slathered, and then it looks like you got cayenne pepper and sprinkled it on top. Good guess. Cool. Or it's, is it worse? I'm legit terrified. I, 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 I am afraid of hot sauces that are black. Eat. Eat. Oh, God. Our mother of great agony, pray for me. You could do it. You can do it. Um, by the way, just to let you know, this last one, the name of it was Flaming Disaster. That's Flaming later. Rectum. Okay. Let's go! I hate that the false, they lull, it lulls you into a false sense of security for like the first minute. Like, oh, that was not bad at all. It's pretty tasty. And then, uh, Oh, there it is. I already regret that. Oh. So just, just out of curiosity, Nico, how many, how many team, uh, right, EMS, <laughs> licensed EMS, just out of curiosity. Oh God. I think next year they should just have. Ghost pepper, straight up. Right? I'll do it. I will do it. Uh, I'll tell you what. If for next year, if for next year we Carolina can Carolina Reaper. If we can beat $15,000 for yes. charity next year. I, I, I can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> if they could get $15,000. As he was trying to say, if we do beat 15,000 next year, we'll do Ghost oh. Pepper whole <laughs> to start. I, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Wait, what do you mean to start? Now's a good time. This is unscripted and raw. Does anyone want to come up and argue about the ceiling tiles? Because I am ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if a discolored ceiling tile is going to keep you from having a fun con, A, you weren't going to have a good time anywhere. You're going to find some other reason to be miserable. <laughs> and B, you really need therapy and medication. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> Am I fired yet? <laughs> I've been trying to get fired for five years. Yeah, say, nope. Nope. If the bash game didn't do it, nothing will. <laughs> nope. You're stuck for life. Please help us. And We're it, actually chained this note, under this table. I'd like to give one last big thank you to all the staff, all the volunteers that contributed to make Furpock 2018 
a huge success. <sighs> Are you crying and or th dry heaving? One of the <laughs> little of column A, little of column B. <laughs> But most of all, I want to thank you guys, the attendees. You're the reason why we do it. You guys make our con. A big round of applause for everyone. Thank you for making FurPoc 2018 a massive success, for raising over $12,000 for our, our $10,000 for our ch charities. And I'm going to go rack in the corner and cry for a little bit. Where's my yogurt? <laughs> thank you, Silver. You go take care of yourselves. All of you go take care of yourselves tonight, right after you join us for the last Howl After Party, because just like a slasher villain, when you think we've died, we come back for one more round. So if you're sticking around tonight in a hotel, come join us in the zoo. We will see you there. Verpak, thank you!